Okay, so let's look on uh, lights and the camera. Right now, you'll notice if we have it one figuring, it's already kind of lighting up, and it's by default, it's creating this somewhat um, eminent lights coming from view. If you notice right here, highlights, if you look, it's kind of lights projecting almost from the point of view. However, this is view is going front and we have a perspective view. We could create a different type of cameras or think about this in a way we look from and we can set those properties with those cameras to simulate real world like focus link or other options. As well, we can add some light to start creating nice look more natural or other ways you want to create the similar with the lighting. So for example, right here, we have a model and let's go first, we'll go create a lights. So we can do creating lights right here. We can go use the presets again from library if you need it, or we can go um, create add lights from drop down menu inside our tab for the lights, or we can always go to create and create different type of lights from drop down. So right now I'm going to create a new point light. And I'll just let's create a point light. The one thing is kind of notice about this right here. You can see it's created by the feet. The lights overall is changed. So for example, now this light source is what producing. Notice the model become dark. So this um, ambient light we was using before for the modeling and everything, it's gone. So now we will rely and kind of look on these um, lights we added. And this is kind of useful when you want to see precisely how the lights is working for you. However, if you want to see some details, like for example, if it is too dark, you can always go and uncheck lights and it will just take effect of the lighting off. So I'll go keep it on for now so we can preview. Right here, I can see the how the light is selecting, for example, in the sides. We can move it and probably just adjusting slightly up just to create some interesting okay let's adjust this way properties in the slide you notice as we work with the lights um we have it our presets and we can use it some of them in our scenery when we go work but well let's go inside the editor and right here on our lights, we have it all this properties is enabled. So we can have a different color of the lighting. So let's go add a little bit warmer kind of. You can see it's already reflecting. We can increase intensity. And also when, as we increase intensity, you can see the fallout, the globe. So it's our point and the other bigger globe, which is kind of represent fallout color. So we can readjust. Okay, it's applied this way. Okay, at this point, you know what, let's go ahead and just render. So you can see with the lights, we applied and it's creating some effect. So if we need to, the beauty of this, because we can create a very complex lighting, very interesting for our renders. So let's go ahead and create add additional light from the drop down. We'll just create another point lights. Okay, let's just take the point light and maybe bring slightly from the back kind of location. Maybe around right here. We'll pop up as well. And let's create reddish color. So we have a just slightly outline going. And you can play with lights, but you can see we have different dimensions, add more interesting effect. So this is when you work with lightings. And lightings have a different um, type of the lighting. So before we look on the our point lights, we also have a different type. So let's go create. And you can see we have a distant light, which is a represent as a sun far away. And if we're creating, it will kind of highlight every property, but in some case, maybe we want to go and take way down. So it's one B. But think about this. This is like a sunlight, very far away, very high intensity. Okay, next we have it also on um, spotlight. 
Let spotlight more look like a projector, maybe, you know. So we're gonna go. Just move it down. Kind of repositioning. Okay, let's go move slightly this way and readjusting. Okay, with the spotlight, we have additional properties. Again, intensity, it's how powerful it is, as well as spread angle. And you can see it's kind of increasing right here with our points and as well as a color. So let's just have it fall out a little bit lower. Maybe like this around. And we can play around this. Um, next, we also have a point light we looked before and a new linear point light. The difference is only how the light is distributing and how the fallout of the lights will happen. So it's intensity area and fallout. So right here we can specify where the fallout starts. You can see this small one and fallout ends. So think about this. It's like a gradient on the lights, how far it will go. Okay, so let's go move a bit sideways. You can see how much we add lights and it's become complex to kind of almost lighting. Okay, and let's set this color. Just click on any field. A bit cyanish color. Okay, and when we render, here is we have our figures with some lightings applied a little bit bright. Again, we can play a little bit more. This is just an example of different lighting. And the one thing you notice when we render, if I set my position from this viewport, okay, I heard my perspective add on, and I go render, it would render from a point that I'm currently, and this is my viewport. We have the ability also create the cameras. So let's go back. And the cameras help us to animate because with viewport, we not necessarily can animate our movements of the camera, but we can animate the camera movements. We can also set up camera in proper places with the properties that is like focal, pre focal lenses and other things, more similar to real cameras. So let's go right here. We'll go add camera. Okay, and when we create camera, I'll just leave a default name. We have additional options, so we can apply all settings. But for now, just create a simple camera. So we'll click OK. And when we, if we zoom out, you can see right here we create our camera. So to view from the camera, we can go click. And now you can notice right here we have our distance light. And we have our camera view. So we can click directly and reposition our camera and now when I modify it's modify and view how the camera will see so I'll go adjust this way let's bring it down and this is my focus point okay so I'll go select for example close up and now when I render okay we can in render we can specify um, properties we want to render so Okay, let's go to select to the camera. Okay. And we go ahead and we can render specifically what we see from the camera. The other things we also look how we can add these options to some other areas. As a render, we'll come back after look on the properties, but go back to the camera. You'll notice right here we have a perspective. We have it a frame wide, how wide frame we want it focal links and this is kind of a created telefocus or wide angle and it does apply properly distortion so you can see on wide we have more distortions happen and about 55 50 is what the, our eye looking so we can create more tele photo or just let's go to 55 that is about right we can enable depth of field and it's very important when we start working with a blur and we want to create uh, kind of focus maybe on the eye and create it real nice blurring depth feel. And also we have it our focal distance that is currently set and f-stop it's also simulating some camera properties. So if you're familiar with photography or um, video you probably find these properties very familiar to you so you can play around. 
if you are not very familiar we'll cover them a little bit more in other tutorials but overall just uh, for now you can play a little bit with a focal length so remember 24 it will be wide angle and if you want to leave photo and it does will change some perspective between um, objects in a positioning so you can create this way but overall you can play around and see how they will work okay and next tutorial we'll go and cover a little bit of our render or workflow and after this we'll continue working with, with some more parameters windows